And we're glad that you're with us this evening. I'm Tim Seaman. A day after a group of international students at Western Iowa Tech Community College here in Sioux City raised concerns about internships that they were placed in as part of a cultural exchange program, the institution's president addresses faculty members, administration, and students regarding those claims. That's our top story at 10. KCAU 9 reporter Marina Bach attending that meeting today and joins us from the newsroom to share what he said about student concerns and what's next for the program. Marina? Tim Terramorell shared that he has done his absolute best to provide students with a, both an education and a work experience right here in Sioux City. He acknowledged that there is a lack of communication that's caused a lot of problems for this first year program. And he says that these international students through this program have to have that J-1 visa. I really have enjoyed every month I've been here. Um, I have learned a lot about American culture. Carolina Paris is enrolled in the J-1 program at Western Iowa Tech Community College. The same program a group of students made claims about on Monday. If I had to go back to Chile because of this accusation, I think it's pretty unfair, honestly. Tuesday, Western Iowa Tech President Terry Morrell acknowledged that there have been growing pains for the first year J-1 exchange program. I know that that uh, we struggled to get all of the paperwork correct, um, not having gone through this before. We did not understand the extent of frustration that existed in our students. Morrell says in November 2019, the U.S. State Department reviewed the program, requiring changes to the internship component of the program. And so we welcome the State Department coming in and providing that guidance for us. We have continued to stay in contact with the State Department. Um, not required to do that, but we want to make sure that uh, uh, we have the highest value program that we can absolutely have. With the recent changes, Morrell says 43 students have secured internships for the second semester, with seven others yet to be placed. We offered for those students who were not happy with th the changes, if they wanted to return, that they could return and that we would pay for those return. Uh, we had five students take us up on that. But we also know that there are many students who are very happy with the education that they've got. I have learned in all of my classes, people have been very kind to us. Morrell says he has not recruited any students for the program next year and that he is very uncertain of where the program stands at this time. Reporting live in the newsroom, Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News. Okay, Marina, thanks for that updated information. And we continue to look into claims made by some students in that cultural exchange J-1 program. There do appear to be some discrepancies in the timeline of when Western Iowa Tech learned that its partnership with J&L Staffing, the company that lined up internships, was not acceptable under guidelines from the U.S. State Department or the Iowa Department of Education. That's something we hope to talk with WIT officials about yet this week.